If you sail due south from Karachi, you would not see any land till you reach the South Pole. Travel northwards, and you would witness some of the most spectacular scenery, culture, and people that you could ever imagine. This is Pakistan. A land steeped in history, giving birth to the Indus civilization. Dating back to 6000 BC, Mohenjo-daro, or the Mound of the Dead, is rightly regarded as the cradle of civilization. Here, people lived in well-planned cities with an advanced lifestyle well ahead of their times. Brick cities from the Indus Valley civilization stand beside Buddhist ruins, contemporaneous with the birth of Christianity. Daxila is an archaeological treasure of the ancient Gandhara kingdom, which flourished 3000 BC where Emperor Ashoka built a series of monasteries in Jolia and Dharmarajika. This great complex also housed one of the first universities in the world. Alexander the Great passed through here, leaving behind indelible marks of Greek influence. It is the history of many races, their ambitions and dreams, both realized and lost. Archaeological sites and imposing monuments are scattered across the country, bearing witness to its magnificent past. Many more adventurers came to conquer this land of plenty, but none could match the glory and power of the great Mughals. They were great connoisseurs of art and music. The architecture and gardens left behind speak volumes of their skills and tastes. The remains of their splendor are scattered all over the country. Known as the cultural hub of Pakistan, Lahore hosts some of the most impressive Mughal and Victorian architecture. It's Pakistan in miniature since all its colors, sights and sounds History and culture represent the whole country. This Mughal city boasts of the elegant tile work of the Vazir Khan Mosque and the glasswork shimmering in the Shish Mahal at Lahore Fort are the epitome of art. Before and during the Mughal period, Sufism thrived in this region. It has left great impressions of peace, love and harmony. Today's Pakistan is rooted in this rich history and diverse ethos. It is one of the few countries in the world where the festivals of all major religions are celebrated with equal zeal. Alongside the Islamic religious festivals of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Azha, Christmas and Easter are celebrated with great emotions. Hindus observe their festival of Diwali. Every year, thousands of Sikh pilgrims come to Pakistan to visit their sacred places. Pakistan is one of the few countries in the world that exhibits such amazing contrasts of people in terms of color, creeds, races and customs. As a socially enlightened and moderate society, education has been placed at the top of the agenda from basic schooling to the highest degrees. Universities specializing in all disciplines like the Aga Khan and GIK Institute and many others produce doctors, engineers, 
lawyers, IT specialists, and other professionals like Professor Abdul Salam, the Nobel Prize winning physicist. With more than half of the population below the age of 20 years, Pakistan is a nation with a rich grounding in culture, an array of arts and crafts, and most importantly, a magical romance of youthfulness. The multicultural past has given the people a diverse cuisine varying from province to province. A shared spiritual and cultural experience of the Pakistanis can be witnessed during many religious, cultural and national celebrations. Spring festivals are celebrated all over the country with great zeal and enthusiasm. The National Horse and Cattle Show and of course Basant, the Kite Festival. With music gala, exotic foods and partying, it attracts dignitaries, diplomats and artists from across the world. The sky is filled with kites of all shapes and sizes. The Lok Mela a folk festival of music and dance with craftsmen at work and a handicrafts exhibition at the Lok Virsa Institute enlivens Islamabad. Pakistan's 800,000 square kilometers are rich in natural resources, many of which still remain untapped. With 165 million consumers, it offers tremendous opportunities to investors from around the world. Reforms are the key to job creation and poverty alleviation. Due to the political and economic stability, as well as sound government policies and booming business environment, billions of dollars of foreign investment is pouring into Pakistan. Hundreds of multinationals are operating here, ranging from financial institutions, cellular service providers, hotels, industrial manufacturing, power generation and consumer products. The modernization of industries is transforming the economy into a global competitor, hence raising the standard of living, as reflected in many new development and housing projects. Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy. The magnificent irrigation system, second largest in the world, is a great contributor to the prosperity of the land. Thou shalt be the glory of the East, said Sir Charles Napier, referring to Karachi, the economic hub of Pakistan. Its modern airport welcomes business travelers from the world over. Karachi boasts of an unusual mixture of modern skyscrapers and 19th century Victorian buildings and wide boulevards. The recently established port of Gawadar is expected to be the hub of international trade. Pakistan manufactures some of the finest sports goods in the world including brands such as Adidas, Puma, Slazenger. The footballs used in the World Cup are made here. Sialkot is known throughout the world for its surgical instruments. Other products including rice, petroleum products, gems and jewelry, cotton yarn, leather products and ready-made garments are among the prime exports. The hand-knotted carpets and rugs are acclaimed and appreciated throughout the world.
Islamabad, the capital and the seat of an elected government, with a vocal and active opposition, today houses one of the largest number of women legislators in the world. These socio-political reforms have opened up new horizons for women to play key roles in all walks of life, from ministerial posts to running the central bank, service industries, and from flying passenger planes to fighter jets. A nuclear and missile power, the country has made tremendous progress in all fields. Today, it built state-of-the-art Augusta submarine and the latest jet fighter, Thunder JF-17. Its growing stature among the polity of nations is recognized by frequent visits of many eminent world leaders. A nation crazy about sports. Playing both modern and traditional sports and games, they have won world championships in cricket, hockey, squash, and snooker a number of times. Apart from such international sports, many indigenous games and sports are highly popular and mark the individuality and fun-loving nature of Pakistanis. Their music is a beautiful blend of tradition and individual talent. It draws inspirations from the rich contributions of the 13th century poet and musician Amir Khusro, who composed the earliest ragas and 16th century classical musician Tan Sen. Even the pop music is a fusion of the classical and modern tunes. The diverse ecosystem also makes it an attractive tourist destination. The varied landscape from lush plains and deserts in the south to the majestic mountains in the north make Pakistan unique, offering all four seasons throughout the year. If it's 50 degrees in Sibi in the south, people are skiing in Nalta in the north at the same time. Offering many adventures, the Khyber Safari train runs through the rugged mountains of the Khyber Pass, making it an exhilarating experience. Pakistan nestles amongst three of the world's major mountain ranges, the Himalayas, Karakorams, and the Hindu Kush. Of the 14 8,000 meter peaks in the world, five grace its skyline. With Chagori at 8,616 meters, ranking second highest in the world, is popularly known as K2. A land of opportunities, surprises, and magical contrasts, appropriately described as the world's best kept secret, inviting you to explore its beauty and grandeur, its rich history, its versatile culture, and to enjoy the hospitality and love of its people. Welcome to Vibrant Pakistan.